Well, here at Telecoms World Middle East, I'm delighted to say I'm joined by one of the key speakers, Sally Davis from BT. And Sally, just tell me first of all about the, the, the talk you gave. What was the gist of what you were trying to say? Well, actually, my talk was quite optimistic um, because although we've been through tough economic times, uh, what we do is hugely relevant to people. So we have to find a way, and I do think we'll find a way for real growth opportunities in the future. And that's really what it was about. And where do you see the growth coming from? Well, I think that there is going to be a massive increase in uh, video and data um, over our networks, both fixed and mobile. And I think we have to find a way to monetize that. So I think everybody in the industry has to really put their heads together and work out some new business models. That's the big challenge, isn't it? Because the, the end users, the customers, want it for free, don't they? You know, some of the carriers have gone out there, some of the disruptive carriers have gone out there and offered things for free and bundles and all the rest of it and therefore made a very different market. Um, and you're right, lots of consumers do expect it for free. But they also expect quality for free. And whilst um, all the carriers can work on a best efforts delivery, um, for some pieces of content that's not really going, going to be good enough. How can they do that then? How can they monetize it? Well, I think we can uh, work with content providers and communications providers and consumers to come up with ways to add quality and assured delivery um, to pieces of content that people will find valuable and therefore say, yeah, that's worth an extra penny, pound, cent, dollar, whatever it is. Any developments in the market that you've seen that kind of encourage that sort of thinking? Is anything happening in that direction? Um, well, I think that uh, certainly within the UK market, we've got a lot of quality assured um, products in the pipeline and already being released. And we are seeing some people saying, yep, that's of interest. So I think we're right on the cusp of seeing some of these new models emerge. And what about the technical side? You know, is the capacity there to deliver this and, and actually meet the demand? Because it's enormous, isn't it? It is enormous and, you know, Moore's law applies. Um, we are continuing to see capacity being able to be supplied at lower cost. Um, but you're right, the tsunami is enormous. Um, I think particularly for the mobile operators who have been traditionally used to carrying mo uh, voice, analogue voice, and suddenly this uh, big IP data arrives. Um, so I think it's a big sea change for them. So, for example, in the UK, we are helping all of the mobile operators to change out their analogue TDM network and put in big Ethernet pipes. We used to put two meg into a cell site. Now it's one gig, you know, so it's massive. So overall, it sounds like you're quite positive. Yeah, it's not without its challenges, don't get me wrong. Let's talk I don't, about them then, what are the I challenges? Don't, well, I don't think we've got the business models sorted yet, you know. I don't think we have worked out exactly how to monetize it. I see some encouraging signs, but it's not done yet. And I think we're probably a, a few years still from finding out whether we have got a way to handle it. Um, so it's, it's early days. But you think it can be done, it's what you can make money from it? Because what we do is so relevant. You know, people have learnt to love the internet. Um, you know, anyone with teenagers today sees them download nearly everything they do. Um, you know, they telly belly, they watch their television from the internet. internet. So it's hugely relevant. So um, we've just got to work together as an industry and with, with content providers um, and work out a way to deliver this in quality to customers so that they appreciate it and pay for it. And let's talk a little about the conference. Have you enjoyed it? It's been fantastic. Um, I think that this is such a vibrant um, area and region. Um, you know, every country very, very different with different economic um, you know, pressures. But um, I think that this area has really grown enormously and I see some really exciting and very rapid developments. Um, we work with a whole range of customers. We've been here for about 25 years um, and we've grown some good relationships with key customers in the region who are expanding um, and we're really keen to support them to do that. And how do you see the future for this area? Uh, I actually think it's good. Um, I think that there is um, you know, a lot of uh, good economic factors operating in the whole region. Um, you know, the, obviously the natural resources um, help that. I think we're seeing a lot of um, MNCs, you know, the, the multinational companies emerging from this region. You know, big companies now really growing and spreading out into other areas of the world. Um, I, I see this as a very, very positive area for growth. Okay, Sally Davis, thanks very much. Thank you.